Hey guys, Rich Nance, self-defense editor of Handguns Magazine, and I'm holding a Springfield XDM, but this is an Airsoft version, as is designated by the orange tip there. Uh, Airsoft is a great way to train. Not only is it fun, but it enables you to train, to practice draws, to practice proper grip, proper trigger uh, press, and everything in the comfort of your own home, right? Uh, you can actually fire these pellets at targets, and it actually has practical application. It's not just a game. But what we're gonna use Airsoft for today is to practice something that's critically important, and that is weapon retention. In this case, weapon retention when your gun is in hand. And you may be thinking, well, if my gun's in hand and I'm facing a deadly threat, I would just press the trigger. Well, for a variety of reasons, that's not always gonna happen. Uh, if, the, if the assailant is holding the gun here, um, you may get one round, you may not if the slide is back. So just to assume that you'll be able to press the trigger is very naive. So what I'm gonna show you is a weapon retention uh, technique that works regardless if the assailant grabs his right hand or left hand or two hands. Let me have Jeff come in and I'll walk you through this step by step. So Jeff has grabbed my pistol, and again, how did this happen? Maybe we were fighting, maybe I was trying to clear a corner in my house and he's grabbed a hold of it. So once he has it, I always wanna start things out with a distraction. In this case, I'm gonna strike him in the face there. Now what that's gonna do is take his balance to some degree and it's gonna take some of his energy off his grip. So what I'm gonna do is take the exterior of my left arm and I'm gonna strike this juncture where his hand meets my gun. And as you'll see, I'm gonna turn my body as I do that. Now from there, for a second, I'm susceptible. I'm gonna immediately follow up with a strike there and a strike with the muzzle. Then I'm gonna step back, tap the magazine, rack the slide, and assess the situation. Again, that's where the functionality of this very realistic airsoft gun comes in handy. So if Jeff grabbed uh, only with his left hand, I'm doing the same thing with a slight variation. So instead of just coming back here where I have to put my arm in front of the muzzle, all I'm gonna do is twist the gun ever so slight like this, and the strike is the same there, boom, that strike, and everything else is the same. The technique also works if he grabs with both hands. And again, we're uh, under the impression that we only have one hand on the gun. Maybe the other hand was moving someone out of the way, maybe I was fighting him, but he's got two hands on it this time and I only have one. I wanna bring this into my core here where I'm strong. I'm gonna set this up just like this, twist and strike, strike him there, there, and again, go through that situation. Airsoft is a great way to safely practice weapon retention, which is a potentially life-saving skill.